Ruby, roll your window down. I'll do what my sister says. I'll get in the car. I'll oh, get it go by herself. <laughs> He's exhausted. You look gorgeous. My bride's gonna be here soon. This was not supposed to be a maternity shirt. I found it like a year ago. I'm like, oh, I guess it works. It works. <laughs> like, yeah, well, I got a few things for your road trip here. They're special things I've compiled. Yay. Each one there to make you smile. <laughs> Thank you. It's not so. just for me either. I'm not gonna eat all by myself. I have a special carpool ride I'm gonna <laughs> share with. My ride is here, but she does Ruby, roll your window down. You do not have to drive that whole thing up there. I'm driving. You've driven every single time. It's my turn. Now get in the car. I'll do what my sister says. I'll get in the car. Yeah, that will be a little funny for you guys, that way. Okay. Yeah, I, for some reason, I guess I just assumed you were taking him. <laughs> no. You're going to go by ourselves. <laughs> Spontaneous change of plans. Landon is, he's pretty amazing. He's taking even Russell and he's gonna run errands all day with them. Yay. So that's Thank awesome. You, and by the way, we're not just like playing today. Like we're working. I brought my computer and we are going through pictures for the cookbook. So we are going to get down to business and work. Is Porter blowing you a kiss? Yes. Hey, even Russell, you be good for Uncle Landon. <laughs> we are supposed to be working here and look what mom walked in with. <laughs> well, I was like, where's mine? I got my hand delivered. Oh, yes, cute. We were filling orders and Ellie lifted up and she goes, Jennifer Griffith! <laughs> Well, this is kind of fun, a spontaneous cousin day. Whoa, great hearts, you guys. Which one's yours, Russell? This one. Oh, I like that one. This one's mine. That one's Emma's. What Change. did I get myself into? cheese today it is quesadillas and they are all happy to see you we got Emma and Cooper off to school and so we came back to grab an oatmeal cream pie which are my favorite most favorite treat in the entire world so if anybody wants to know what do I get Landon for Christmas oatmeal cream pie what do I get Landon for his birthday oatmeal cream pie what about Easter oatmeal cream pies easy how about St. Patrick's Day you want to get me a St. Patrick's Day present? You send me an oatmeal cream pie. You'll make me the happiest boy alive. And these are yummy! All right, this is going to be so fun. We came to do some... We came to do some music time at Emma's school today. Papa. 
The kids were right where we left them when we left, playing in the front yard. Hi. All right, when mom is gone, dad plays. But when mom comes home, it is work time. You played all day, haven't you? Okay, yeah. now it is homework time. You get sent these little books to read each day after school, and then to get new books, you have to turn them back in. So we are going to go over some of your reading. Emma's teacher is just letting me know today kind of how she's doing in school and that everything's going really well but a few things that she can work on. So I appreciate the communication between school teachers and parents when they tell me specifically what it is that I need to work on with my kids or what they're doing really well at because I don't always know that information unless they tell me. Um, so I do appreciate all the school teachers that are out there. I know there's so many school teachers out there that I don't feel like maybe get that appreciation, but I do appreciate Emma's school teachers. Cooper has contentedly been playing with these Legos for the last half hour, I think. He's exhausted. Emma and Porter are playing hide and seek and entertaining each other, but it's bedtime. <laughs> Come on, Porter. Eat. Two, three, one, two, I don't know if I should be happy or sad. I got this robe like over 12 years ago. I was in junior high or high school and I have worn it and abused it and used it so much. But today is this final resting day because I'm giving it up because I have this beautiful robe from Bali. Thank you, Bonnie and Ellie. Let me just talk a little bit about the differences here. This one, the neck had a double up over, so it was really thick underneath my hair as I was trying to get ready. The sleeves were too long and bulky and would get in the way, hence you can see they're like disgusting. So I love how this robe is smaller and thinner around the neck so it doesn't feel so bulky when I'm like trying to do my hair and get ready for the day. The sleeves are at the perfect length right there so I can do dishes. I am so happy with this robe, so excited. Um, most of you probably already know, but in case you don't, go follow Bali. I'll leave a link down in the description below. That is my sisters, Bonnie and Ellie, put together a clothing company. And yes, I did buy it with my own money. I am supporting my sisters. Are you flipping kidding me? This, the life, <laughs> this is how I found Landon. Landon, where are you? Oh, you're eating candy? Where did you get that candy from? These ones are for you. Oh, thank you. You're so you sweet, though. No. I better keep these for you. I'll put them away for you. Oh, the... I'll bet you will. Put them away right now. <laughs> you little sneak.